Previously on Surviving Sliptopia. I didn't know that it had changed and T.O. Lone Wolf had and he offered to fix the texture pack and he did and it's much appreciated because I'm in love with you. It's kind of funny how that is. And then this relates to what I'm talking about in Minecraft. I cannot remember how. Elevator working. Such a nice surprise. <laughs> Is up the world it is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here and it's time to harvest some redstone we're a little out and a little low so I got the bold here you can put in the comment section down below how many pieces of redstone you think we're gonna get from this stack of redstone or I hope you guys are having a good Monday um, yeah stuff and things are going good um, we got a project that we're gonna do today we're gonna get the back door completed they've been talking about the back door for uh, no. N inappropriate. All of you know what I talk I'm talking about who are, yeah, anyway. So I've been talking about the back door back there and uh, what we're going to do over there for quite a while. And I started thinking about it more and I was trying to think of a project we could do today. And uh, I said, you know what? I said to myself, self, there's a lot of bad guys around here. There's some baby zombies. Oh, can we catch, is that a baby zombie in the, oh, he's going to, oh, let's watch him. What up, little guy? It's baby's first ride. Baby's first ride on the cathedral. So exciting for the baby zombie. Oh, I wonder what will happen when the baby zombie falls. Hmm, I wonder what possibly could possibly happen to him when he falls. You better run, zombie. There's a creeper gonna... It's a creeper. It's gonna get you. Uh, aw, it looked like fun for him. So anyway, uh, yeah, I've been talking about this back door uh, that we're going to get the uh, fixed up. And I've been thinking about different stuff and things that we're going to do. And a lot of times I think that the reason why projects get put on hold is that I try to... What's up, Ender? There's our horse, Ender. Um, I try to go a little too grand sometimes. What, Chapin? But, um, and uh, projects get so big and they get a little overwhelming. Um, so I thought that uh, we would do this a little a little simpler um, so what we're gonna do is get a chest we're gonna stick our chest down chest down there and we'll stick all of this stuff and things inside of there, outside of the chest so we got one two three four five six minus two stacks of redstone so if your guess was six minus two stacks of redstone then you are a winner and if it was close, then you might be runner-up or second runner-up. But, uh, yeah, so did I get the, the glowstone as well? All right, so what, what we're going to do is we're going to make this fairly simple, but it is going to be redstone-related. Um, and so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Halfway points 9-ish. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, look, I put torches here. So this is the ish halfway point. Oh, I'm using the bold. No, give me Hans Christian Orsted back. So um, let's get rid of this cobble. No, why did you? I hate your face right now. Cobblestone, three cobblestone blocks. Uh, peace out. Um, yeah, so this is where the door is going to be. And what we're going to do is Wooly Creeper did a tutorial on an Etho style. Um, piston door and I liked it he has a couple other d doors that he's designed and then Rudy Warlock also did a design for this back door for us um, a while ago and um, I, I just think that the etho door design I like the design and it's one wide it doesn't really need to be it doesn't matter if it's one wide here there's a spider that I want to kill because it's bothering me where are you spider that must die Oh my god. Peace out! So, um... It doesn't need to be one wide, but I like the one wide design. It's just kind of simple. And so, I think we're going to do it. And what we're going to do is probably put some... Of course, I've put my chest exactly where I want. We don't need... We can keep all this in our inventory. I'd like to do, um... Uh, trip wire right here and then the door and then there'll be a trip wire I think 
Oh, I don't know if I can do one. Oh, that's gonna stink. That's gonna stink. So, hmm. I'm thinking about doing a tripwire over there, but over here we can't do a tripwire because, let me see if I can come over here so you can kind of see. We can't really do a tripwire over here. What, what? Oh my gosh. There's bad guys everywhere. Where are they? There's a cave. There's a cave. So um, we can't really do a tripwire on this side because there's not enough space for it. Um, let's get some of this lit up a little bit just for gigs. So, oh, there's a cave around here somewhere. Anywho, all right, pay attention. Shiny thing. Don't pay attention to the shiny thing slip. So, um, yeah, we won't be able to do another tripwire. Or if we do, I guess we can try to do it, and then we can just modify. We can landscape back there. But a tripwire here, door, and then a tripwire to turn it off. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, so I, uh, I, uh, I need tripwires and string. I need hoppers. Oh, no, I don't need hoppers. I got everything, but I need some tripwires and string. I'm going to start the building process, and uh, yeah, I'll be back. I need tripwires and string. So I just been doing a little bit of work over here and the mob focus is uh, the spawn focus in this area because of how much I have other stuff and things lit up is like pretty hilarious. Um, so I'm having to kind of go through and get some torches laid down just to help so that I can actually work um, without constantly fighting spawns off. Um, even though I hate there being torches everywhere um it's better than like literally i haven't for a period of time here i just haven't even been doing any redstoning i've just been fighting off mobs as they spawn so yeah we gotta get this place we gotta get this place lit up a little bit um so i already did add in the trip wires and that was kind of like the first thing i wanted to do just to see if stuff and things would look right and kind of fit um especially was just kind of worried about this area over here. So we got our tripwire hooks and we got a tripwire. And now you can see we got our redstone over here. And um, the outside actually didn't change that much at all. Um, it was no big whoop. So if we take a look out here, <clears throat> you can't really, you know, you can't, can't really even tell. You kind of can't really even tell that it was a thing. I don't like that. That looks weird. Why did you do that, Slip? Better. So yeah, you can't even really tell that there was a looks, looks dark that there was a, any modification to the to the thingy doodler. So what up, man? I know, sucks, right? So um, all right. So we got our trip wires done. See with the it's just like constant. Le leave me be. Leave me be. What? That is, where'd you? What? Why did you just leave me be? This is why we have a wall around Sleptopia. This is crazy town. You know, I need some wool and I never come over here and actually use this thing and put so much, what, what happened? Put so much effort into making this. I can only speak when the water is running. I put so much effort into making this thing, but um, I don't really ever have a use for the wool, but for redstone projects like this one, um, come on, get him. It's good that uh, we have our the, the sheep pens because I can grab some redstone or some wool to place redstone on. And, you know, it's just nice. It's just nice part of Subtopia. And I never, ever take advantage of, like, hanging out. Hanging out and, uh, what's going on with that? I think I may have an issue with those uh, dispensers that I forgot about, forgot to fix. But any hoozle, grabbing some wool for my project, and I thought I'd come and hang out with you guys while I was doing it. Get in there. Get in there, cool wool thing. Let's grab this wool and peace out to build the door. I have made a mess, but it works, so check it out. We'll... Select there, select there, like so. And if you come over here, 
So you can see that working like that. So, um, yeah, definitely check out Wooly Tutorials, um, Wooly Tutorials, Wooly Creepers tutorial on how this all works. Mine is not quite as beauteous as his in the toot, but, uh, you know what? That's okay. It's totally okay. Stuff and things happen. So, um, we just gotta cover up, make sure that stuff is covered up outside of there. And, alright, so, you can see here, let me see. I'll come up here and we'll do a whole thing. We'll follow the redstone. All right, so we got string, we got a redstone. It comes down into here and this, it powers this block. And so likewise on the other side, the uh, tripwire redstone comes from over here and powers this block, which is the T flip flop that uh, powers the door. And then so on the door frame, it's kind of tough to see all the stuff and things that are in there. Um, I'm not gonna go over how the two, you know, what, what it is exactly that, that is going on, but um, you want to check out his tutorial on 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 it, uh, that I'll link in the description. Absolutely, um, but working really really good. I like the action on it too. Um, it looks like it's firing, you know, really really nicely. Um, some of the stuff and things that we got to do now is just cover up all this stuff. Make sure that after it is covered up, kind of we don't want to have tons of spawns um, in the area. So we want to make sure that we get everything. Um, spawn proofed so we got a lot of work to do in that regard as far as getting this all filled in um so yeah but pretty cool and then we got to beautificate it as well beautificate i say um make this kind of look better and i think we're going to beautificate the hallway a little bit too so um i like the door very very cool and let me make it cooler and then i'll be right back with you guys Okay, so I got all the um, I got all the stuff filled in, and the door is still working really, really good. And then, so I thought that now what we would do is start to beautificate the area a little bit. Um, and so, a couple of things that we didn't do yet that we got to is we got to go back to get some um, some lapis block. Uh, we use lapis block everywhere that there is like redstone power in Sliptopia. So like all the switches and stuff like that. They all have, well, pretty much all have some sort of uh, lapis block on them. So we're going to come back here and do that. Um, and yeah, so you see, see like right there, lapis block, lapis block. So we need our lapis block to put underneath our string um, to make it all sliptopia -y. And so where we got our lapis blocks right there. I grabbed uh, way too many, but just enough at the same time. Um, so let me uh, put this over there. We'll get over there. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, so seven things have been going on. And um, just to kind of update you, I thought maybe we would just hang out and talk while we beautificate. Um, the house thing is going good. We officially got approved for the loan. I've talked about the house thing for a while now. You know, it's kind of weird. It doesn't take like a day to buy a house. It takes like a series of lots and lots of days. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest with you. Um, so... It takes a long time to get this all done. Let's put it, let's put it right here, like so. Should we put it, should it go inside the wall? Should it go one more block? Mm, we might want to go one more. So like, like that? Yeah, it kind of looks better that way, I think. Um, all right, cool. All right. All right, cool, so we'll do that over here too. Um, but yeah, cause you get like, there's like several, there's a lot of ceremony. I remember I told you about that, but um, there's several approval layers and now we're in the approved layer. There was like pre-qual, pre-approved, approved. Um, and so now we're approved. So that's, it's really good. It's like the best, the best that it could be. Um, uh, all right, what do we wanna do? Let's do another, another glowstone halfway between one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, right here. So let's do another glowstone here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll go one, one, two, three, we'll do one, two, three, and then we'll do it there. So it'll be off by one on the side, but it will match, the pattern will match. So it'll be three, one, and three, one, and three. So, um, We'll do that, and then we'll do it on the walls here too. Incorrect. 
and we'll do it on the ceiling as well. So it'll be kind of like a whole thing. Didn't see that coal, no one saw it. So let's take a look at it from out here. Yeah, that kind of looks neat, right? Like it's like, wow, it's definitely sliptopia -y. But the next thing is these blocks here. Should we do these? Should we do these as smooth? It might look good, let's try it. So let's take all this stuff out. Uh. Let's get all this stuff back. Let's smooth it up. Um, yeah, I think I like it. I like smooth stone. I just like it. So then we'll come through. And we'll shut behind us. I don't know, guys. I'm pretty psyched about that. I'm getting a little goosebumpy. Um, I really love the simplicity of smooth stone and when it disappears it just looks hot um the only other thing we could try um we could add some brick or something in here uh, like a line of stone brick i don't know i think it i think it looks better just like this i think it just looks better like like a cool hallway um yeah i think we're gonna leave it like so so, make sure you check out uh, Wooly Creeper's tutorial on the Etho door. He also has a cool spiral door that he invented. And um, I was going to use that. I decided not to. This is a little bit simpler and fit a little bit easier. But um, I really think it's neat. I like the way that it's turned out. Um, when you come up here, it's going to be kind of cool. There won't be any spawns in this area because of the lighting. And we have a great back door. <clears throat> That's enough of that. So let's grab some of this stuff. Can we get it all? All but one thing. What are we leaving behind? Peace out, dirt. Ah. All right. So we got our door closed. We got all that stuff. We're good to go. Project complete. I like the look of it, too. I think it's cool. We could make it more grandiose, but I think that we have enough grandiose and simplicity is nice. And it also feels really, really good to have a project that I've been talking about doing for... I don't know, six months, it's totally complete. And we used our wool. We have some extra wool we can put back. We actually used some wool, amazing enough. And in the last couple of episodes, we've got a lot done here, guys. We got the, the new tree farm done. We got the back door done. Um, we still got, what do we got still going on that we got for projects? We're still gonna be working on the enchanting clam. That's gotta get fixed. Um, I want to do some projects beautificating the canvas. So I've been thinking a lot about it. And I think that it would be cool to take some time to get some more aesthetic completeness. Um, I'll, I haven't forgot about witch haven either. I know we got witch haven going on. I love the chunk errors. It makes makes really good. But um, I think that um, like the park over here, when I added some of the bigger trees, like I think that looks really good. I think that a bigger tree here, a couple big trees there, a couple big trees. So maybe adding some bigger trees into this area as well. Um, I like the way that we've done the water around a couple of the structures back uh, on the cab towers here, all that water. I like that, but it doesn't always fit. Um, so for instance, I don't know if it's gonna fit right in this area, but I think that we need to start doing something. So maybe some trees there too would look a little bit better. Um, I'm thinking about doing, we have the park here and I like the park. I don't know if we need to do anything else to it, but I was thinking maybe a waterfall or something. Um, I was thinking maybe, I thought about adding some pipes in here, but I think that that would look too industrial and would take away from like the, the fact this is supposed to be like a beautiful area, not like an industrial area. Um, this is the industrial area here. And then I thought about, well, I can add pipes back here, but then I'm like pumping, like piping water. It would just look bad to have like water squirting out of the Sleptopia into like the river here. We don't want that. That's not, that's not good. But um, 
I do have ideas for beautification projects that we want to do. Um, and we got to finish the base on the bottom of the altar to smooth stone too. So um, yeah, if you have ideas or suggestions, comments, um, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Please comment in the down there. Make sure you voted uh, for, well, the redstone thing is way beyond us now. But uh, I wonder how many people got the redstone right. Any hoozle. Um, yeah, that's all I have to talk about today. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Let me see if I can get it inside the Emborium. Nope.